Hey there, we're back. This time we're going to do scatter diagrams. Now we've entered the data in stat edit and now we're going to go do a scatter plot. Now there are a couple ways we can do this. My favorite method is to go to y equals and I don't want these equations anymore so I'm going to clear them out. So I'm going to go clear then go down and press clear. I don't want them. I'm going to go up and make plot one. See how it's blinking on that? I'm going to press enter and that highlights it, makes it dark. So when I move off of it, it's still dark. Isn't that great? And now let's see what happens. If I press graph, oops, I can see the points, but it's not really a great window for those points. Now there's a couple ways to get around this. One, you could just go to the window and play around with it. For example, we didn't have negative years. We didn't go before 1990. So you could change it to zero, enter, maybe leave it at well, actually, we, we went up to 2002, so maybe make this 15, enter, and so on. So you could play with it in there. The other nice one is zoom. And let me go down so you can see it. Down, down, down. Zoom stat, number nine. Stat was where we entered the information, right? So if you hit zoom stat, it's automatically going to set, let me press nine so you can see it. It sets the window perfectly to make you a nice, pretty picture of those dots. So to change the window, you can either go to Window or you can do Zoom Stat. Zoom Stat only works if this plot one is on and dark. If it's not on and dark anymore, then it's not going to do it. Let's see what else. You could also go to Stat Plot, which is above your Y equals button right there. It says Stat Plot. And you can see that plot one is on. It's going to be a scatter plot. See that diagram? It's a scatter plot of L1 and L2, and it's going to make box symbols. These two are off. If you want to adjust that, you can press number one, and you could turn it off by going here and pressing off, enter. Or you could go down here and make other types of diagrams. The only diagram we're ever going to work with in Math 131 is the scatter plot diagram. I want to leave it on for right now, so I'm going to go up and enter. There we go and then press graph. Now you, I didn't go through this in the graphing menu because we don't use it that much, but if you like you can press trace and you can see you're on plot 1, L1, L2. That's the number that's 7, 9.7. .7. I can press my right arrow and it'll hop to the next number. Right arrow hop to the next number and so on. There we go. So that's how to do a scatter diagram. Now let's show you something else. Stat, edit, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to clear out this column for a minute just so you can see what happens. If I press graph now, it tells me this, error invalid dimension. So let me quit, go to y equals. You can see the plot 1 is still dark, but plot 1 is graphing L1 and L2. So if you want to graph something, you can't have L1 and L2 on anymore. So you'd have to have data still in there for L1. Let me go back to edit. There we go. It can't do it if you don't have anything in here. So be careful with invalid dimension. If you see invalid dimension, that usually means something's not right in your stat plot. Either you need to turn off the stat plot entirely, or you need to go back and double check your data and make sure that these are equal number of data points in both columns. So for example, if I had had one less data point here, so there's only five here and six here, if I go to graph that, it says dimension mismatch. That means that one of my column lengths was longer than the other. So I'd have to go, oops, quit, go back to stat, go to edit. Oops, I missed one. See, they're not matching. They're dimension mismatched. Type the right number. There we go. Now they're equal length to each other. Now when I press graph, it'll graph it. If you don't want the scatter plot on anymore, let's say you want to go back and just do a regular line like 2x plus 3. You don't want the scatter plot on, so go up and press enter, and that'll turn it off. Now, how do I get back to a regular window? I can't even see my line here when I press graph. That's what zoom 6 is for, zoom standard. Press 6. It makes the regular window negative 10 to 10, negative 10 to 10. So now you're back in business. So y equals plot 1 is your scatter plot. Down here are your regular functions. You've got two zooms to look at. Zoom 6 is your standard, and zoom stat is your stats plot. That's it for that one.